All right, so today I'm gonna be skidding again the Freightliner FLD, uh, uh, and then the skid I'm gonna be putting on it is the CRST Expedited uh, skin, or the company I should say out of they're out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, from what I looked up. And you see here, I already have the stuff that I'm gonna use and go off of. Um, they had different angles of different trucks. I couldn't find one exactly for the FLD, but that's okay. Um, I have the logo already there. Um, I have, this is what I'm gonna base my color off of. Uh, but as you see over here on the right corner of the screen, I already have it selected. Oh, um, and let's see, well, I got my DOT info, where it's from, my truck number. I have to still take that out, uh, make it transparent. And I just wanted to add a little globe somewhere, somewhere on the driver's side door at least. Uh, yeah, I use Shadowplay to stream. I don't use anything else um, for right now. Uh, I thought I'd look into other stuff, like OBS stuff in the future, but right now it's just straight Shadowplay. Crash Roll Stunt Team. And what you gonna say about SWIFT? What's their little acronym? Uh, but I do wanna show something here with this template. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. This template, that I'm about to show you in a second here, is available in 4K or 8K. So, it's a higher resolution template, and do keep that in mind if you uh, have plans to you know, make a skin using this, um, this template because it is a little hard to run on the computer, uh, especially if you don't have the specs to beat it. Um, I can run it okay, and I didn't think about it up until I started reading what the resolution was, and then I started realizing that I may not be able to run this as well, but. You might have to tone down the settings a little bit if you want to run it, you know, with your skin or whatnot. Uh, sure wish I finished training. <laughs> you know what, though? That's the ongoing joke with uh, with Swift. You know, um, I haven't seen anything bad when I used to be out on the road. Um, when I used to drive, I didn't see too many accidents with Swift, surprisingly. But I didn't see a lot of Swift trucks on the road either, so. But here, it's kind of best with this template to know your parts. Um, like over here, you got your, um, your like antennas. Um, this is, I'm not sure what this is here. I would have thought it would have been your, your front bumpers. I'm not totally sure. But if you're never sure about what a part may be, when you get done skinning, when you get ready to save it, save it once as a paint.net image that will allow you to uh, come back to it and all your layers will still be there uh, but if you don't do that then you will basically have to start all over so if you're not sure what a part is you know first save as a paint.net image that will allow you to go back and make edits and then save it again as a DDS file that will be later on here um, in this video, uh, you got your sun visors here, uh, your driver's side view, your driver's side uh, deflectors, your side skirts, um, the back of your cab. Then you got the passenger side. Again, you have the um, the side skirts. Uh, let's see what else. You got the the. It's hard to say what this is. This is the top of the the top of the cab you could say but I don't ever worry about this um, because this is what I need here when I put my logo my CRST logo up this is where it will go uh, normally some companies some trucks have the numbers up here but I may or may not put it there I don't know but you got the top of your hood there as well uh, let's see They drive slow. You see, like I said, I haven't seen 
Swift too much when I was driving on the road. I don't see too much of them at all. They are based out of Phoenix, and that's where I used to see them mostly at. Cause that's where their 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 training facility is, and that's where I would see them the most. But I don't see them too much over here on the East Coast. Um, but yeah, so first what I'm gonna do is I already have my color selected for what I want the truck to be. But if you want to know how to do that, uh, I brought up different images. Now you should try to find one that's as solid as possible. I didn't want to go with that one because it was too light. So I found this one. And usually what you do is you go over here to this icon here, which is uh, the color picker. And you could have any picture in this program. And if you go to a point on the picture, like I went like right here, and you just press your left mouse, it is selected. Bam, it's done. So now when you go back to your template, you you want to add a layer. Your first layer or layer number two uh, will be will be the color of your truck. The first layer will always be um, the color of your truck. If you try to do it any other way, you will mess up. So your first layer should always be the color of your truck. Then you go over here to this little icon here, which is the paint bucket. Click it. Click anywhere on this template within the open spaces. And then bam. That's the color of your truck now. Now, you can't see anything, but that's okay. You know, go back over here to layer two, double click it. And it's gonna bring up this little box here. You wanna turn the opacity down. You can turn it down to however you like, just as long as you can see the template itself and then bam that's layer number one complete your truck is now officially a gold color no um the one that I was talking about I might have already uploaded it uh, if you look at the video that I just put up in the top right corner of the screen there's a link to the latest one that I did and it should be a link to the playlist for the two that I made so far uh, yeah so now we got the truck and I'm gonna add another layer which is this little box right here under this little box with a little green thing click on it and add another layer basically what it's doing is it's, it's adding sheets of paper on top of sheets of paper but of course you only see just this one screen here uh, but towards the end you'll be able to flatten it all out into just one big thing um, but just think about it that way you know whenever you want to add something you know especially if it's gonna be too close to another object you might want to add another layer because otherwise what happen is if you don't and you try to add another thing and you go over that part you'll see some of it start to, start to be taken out. So um, now I'm going to add the labels to the door. And pretty much like I said, I just look at different pictures to see how I want to do it. Now obviously I'm going to have to change the color here. So go back, change the color. Just go back over this again. Um, Let's see here. I could either do it like this, or I could do my own thing, and then just do it like this. Just keep it as is. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And pretty much I'm just going back over it with a different color. If you want to make sure sometimes though, that the color of your truck is still the same color because sometimes when you switch colors it also switch the color of your truck so you want to keep that in mind as well um, oh did you see the video I was talking about so now that I got that selected I'm just gonna go here to the rectangle select that'll highlight all this here and then you can press Control C, or if you want to go the long way, you can go up to uh, 
Oh, where is this at? I think it's edit. It need to copy here. Copy C. Uh, control C is for a copy. Control V is for paste. So on and so forth. Um, I'm going to go back here. I already added another layer. And then just press Control V. That'll bring it up here um, on the screen. Now, of course, you want to shrink it to be able to fit within that little space I'm doing. Now remember, you're running any kind of programs like this, uh, uh, you know, any type of Photoshop or paint.net, anything like this, it, it, it does take a hit on your computer, on your performance of your computer, so uh, do keep that in mind when you're trying to run this program. So now how big or small you should make this, you kind of just have to you know play it by ear uh, the more you start skinning the more you start realizing how big or small an image should be uh, depending on also on what else you're trying to fit on this door like I want to be able to fit if I can find a good picture I want to be able to fit all that info on this door somehow so that will also depend that will also depend on how big I want this to be. Uh, yeah, of course, you could make it larger to exactly see exactly what you're doing. I'll make it, that should be okay. Don't want to make it too small because then you won't be able to see it. And I like to try to keep it as centered with the door as possible i usually have to you know mark things off i usually put a paper up to the screen and you know measure how far it is from here to the door you know just to see if i'm about even or sometimes i'll put my finger up and then i'll do the same and that looks about right yeah that's about right i don't Probably not gonna make it any more smaller than that. Yeah, I won't make it any more smaller. Than that. Now, if I want to keep this same image and then put it on the other door, uh, I'm going to just simply uh, go back here to this rectangle select and click it, and then do Control C again. Then usually I go up here to this deselect button and I deselect it and then I'll press control V and as you see here we got a second image right here that's the exact same size as what you have over here now if I bring this back out now the good thing about having the template like this set up is you don't have to worry about flipping flipping the um flipping the image because sometimes you have it to where you'll have the driver's side right here and then the passenger side will be up here but then you flip and then with then with that case then you have to go uh, up to image and you can either tr uh, flip flip it or you can turn the image or no you have to flip it horizontal if I'm saying that right it's either horizontal or vertical, but that will flip the whole template to where you can uh, work with the other side. And then of course, if it's not, you know, flipped to the way you want it, you could, you know, rotate it clockwise, counterclockwise, you can do a whole 180 uh, to where you can work with it. Because if you don't flip it, then what'll happen is you'll have backwards logos. But because the template is set up like this, I never have to worry about doing any type of flipping. So, I'm just going to drag it over here. Now, with this truck, though, all trucks are set up differently. So, this one, because it has the little um, the floor window for the passenger, I can't add the same info that I add on the driver's side because it won't all fit. Not without, um, you know, putting things out of place. So, this would probably be the best that I could do with uh, this particular one. 
And then usually I just go back and I look and see if maybe I need to lower this one or bring it up. And uh, let me see here. Like I said, usually sometimes if I'm not sure exactly if I need to, uh, you know, lower the logo or, you know, bring it up. So I usually put a paper up to the screen just to see because you want to be as close to exact as you can. I could lower this just a little bit. But you don't want to lower it too much because if it goes close, too close to that window, uh, part of it will be cut out. So I think that's about good there. So if you want to bring it back out, this is, you know, you already got the logo on your door. Now, of course, some, uh, most of them don't have you know the logo itself like they have CRST without the lines it just be expedited but it's your mod you do it how you want um I might be able to uh, uh because you have to use ETS2 Studios for it, and then of course you have to put the truck into ETS2 Studios. I have to figure out how to do that still, um, because for this, I don't have to um, go through ETS2 Studios. I mean, I do, but I don't have to add the truck. So, sounds confusing, but if I can figure it out, I'll do it. And uh, let's see, next I'm gonna work on this here. Now, you have to make this transparent because uh, otherwise when you try to paste it over to the template you're going to have a whole white screen so magic wand uh, this is going to be the most important thing you will need to remember is this icon right here this is what's going to make everything transparent just click anywhere on the white image click delete not backspace but delete and then there it makes it transparent and then of course now you have to go through these individual spots here and make them transparent and make sure you are paying attention to doing this because I've done things in the past where I missed a letter or if they're too close together sometimes you have a little space that's still white but if you weren't paying attention you would have missed it so now all that's transparent now I'm going to add this only this right now now I can only add this to one side of the truck because uh, there's no way I could add it on the passenger side because of that floor window right there so I'm gonna add another layer because it's gonna be too close to this icon if I don't, you'll see when I drag it down, I'll show you what happens when you drag it down. When you drag this down without adding a layer, see there, it cuts it off. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to back out of it. I'm going to add a layer. Now this time when you do it, once you add a layer, it, it, it doesn't take it out. So that's why I'm saying it's like it it's like you added paper on top of paper. If you write something on page one, you wanna add another paper if you wanna write something on page two. You don't wanna write something on page one and then you know, think of something else and then do it again because then you're gonna rewrite it over what you already did. So, just gonna do the same thing here, resize it. You know, how small or big you should keep it just depends but it does help now that you have your logo up there because then you can kind of go based off of your logo now my DLT number is going to be bigger than Cedar Rapids Iowa so I want to keep that in mind I don't want to make this too small again because then you won't be able to read it and what you might want to do which I didn't think about it. Let me see if I can make this a little darker. 
go back to the paint bucket. I might not be able to make it too much darker. Yeah, just see if you can make it just a little bit darker. copy this and then I'm gonna take this one back out now you can either do it one or two ways you can either uh, press this undo button all the way till you don't see it on the screen or if you added a layer like I did go to this X and just press it and it's gone so I'm gonna press control V again bring it back up and then pretty much just go back down and resize it again I need to add another layer. Yeah. Forgot about that. Add a layer. There we go. Like I said, I'm trying not to make it too small. I could probably keep it right there. I think I can do that. And then again, you want to bring up the same image, same size. You highlight it. Rectangle select. Control C. I usually deselect and then press Control V, but you can do it however you want to. Uh, now on the Passenger side, I would usually just put the DOT number at the bottom of the door because, like I say, you can't put all the information on this door. It'll get cut off. So, you actually don't need to copy anything now. So, I'll just deselect. And then now I'm going to work on the DOT number, which I'm going to try to make it darker here. Pretty much, I just select the color black. And just going back over, going back over it to make it a little bit more darker, thicker, I guess. Again, rectangle select, control C. Come back over here to the template, add a layer. Now you can press control V, and now you got your. Oh, I'm supposed to. Well, I could work. Well, I could do the number first. Um, I meant to do the DOT first, but I could do the numbers first. This is your truck number. Uh, Pick whatever you want bring it down here like I said again that is the advantage of this template setup is you don't have to do no flipping but normally you would have to if you got the passenger side up here so just pretty much make it as small as you can without making it too small Since there's nothing right here on the truck, you could do it as low as you want to. I usually like it about right there. Again, it's just pretty much the same repeating process for wherever you want to add something. Rectangle select, which you highlight the selection, control C, and then control V. Same, same size, everything. I'm gonna go over here, drag it all the way over here, and then put it right here. Okay. Now you got your truck number up. Alright, now I'm gonna work on the DOT info, which is what I thought I selected. Alright. 
again like you do anything else highlight it with the red tape select control C you go over to template and then you press control V and then it'll come up on the template Remember to add a layer. There you go. Your DLT that pulls up. Bring it down here and just start resizing it. This is going to be a little bit bigger than I see the Rapids, Iowa. So do keep that in mind. But you have to make sure that it still fits within this door so it's not. So it's not being overtaken by that little mirror at the bottom or a window I should say and I think I'm like a little bit smaller not too much smaller and pretty much you just move it around until you feel comfortable with where it's placed at and that look okay right there. Um, again, highlight. By now, you should already know. Highlight it. Control C. Bring it back up again. Control V. Now you have the same size lo logo. Everything. Now this one I'm gonna put at the bottom of the door. That's it, cause I can't fit it nowhere else. So that's done. Now I wanted to add oh I wanted to add this little globe here. I wanna add it because you got this truck here that has it. I'm assuming that's a globe. I could be totally wrong, man. I be a globe. But uh I wanna add a globe to it. Somewhere on this truck. I don't know where. Whenever you make a mistake like that, you can always go back and press that undo button. You know, I, I usually do that versus trying to fix it myself. But it seems like you could never get it exactly the way you should or the way it was before. Um, I think I'm going to add that little globe right there or something. I think, I think that's what I want to do. Again, just make it to the small or as big as you want to. Also, you want to have, and I should have said this, you want to have a picture up of the truck. Um, and I probably should have said it at the very beginning. Have a picture of the truck up from from all angles uh, because you want to see, you know, if there's anything in the way of where you're placing your icons at. Um, so I'm just gonna pull up, find one on the side that I'm doing. You always want to do that because if you don't, uh, I'm working on the driver's side. So let's find one for the driver's side. There we go. Yeah, because therefore, if you pull up the exact truck that's in game, you'll be able to see where you're placing these items at. You know, because you don't want to just start placing things anywhere. Because like, let's say you place something right here. That mirror is gonna overtake it. So, you know, do keep that in mind too. Like right there is that little black box. And I have to keep that in mind because I just placed the globe right there. So now maybe I'm gonna consider moving it. Um you know, maybe move it somewhere in the middle, maybe. You know. 
maybe on the door or on the uh, little battery box area. It's all about how you want to do it, you know. Um, I wanted it right here, which is where I probably would put it anyway. Wherever you want to, wherever you put this, you kind of want to put the other one in the same spot. So maybe I will just move it over. Maybe try to center it somewhere. Like I said again, you always want to just keep every now and then going back to your original picture just to see if it's if your logo that you're placing in the in the template isn't going to be covered. You know, the last thing you want is to place something somewhere and it's going to be covered by something else. You know. You don't want to do that. And I'm going to bring this over. Uh, this one I'm going to put right here, I guess. Doesn't matter. They like said it's, it's all on how you want to do your own your own truck. It's all on however you want to do it, you know. Um, the only thing I have left to do is I need to add the, the CRST logo on top of here, but I don't want the whole thing. I only want this part. So I'm going to do the same thing, highlight, but I'm only going to highlight this part. It's the only part that I want. I don't want no other part. I'm gonna control C that. Now this is where you have to rotate this uh, template because this is where I want it. I want it right here, but I need to clear this out over. I need to see this sit way over here. I gotta clear that out um, before I'm before I'm done. But I'm gonna worry about that later, right there. Uh, but I want the CRST logo here, but it's, it's easier if you rotate this to where you can do it. So you want to go up here to image and you want to rotate it however way you want to do it. In this case, it's easier if you rotate it clockwise. And then now you should be able to work with the template and it should be on the side that you want it. In this case, it is. So again, I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to do Control V. Keep it, keep the canvas the same size. Don't, don't lower it, up it, whatever. Just keep it the same size because you can still, you know, uh, resize it to, how you, to however you want it. Pretty much just move it around till it's where till you feel comfortable where it's at. And I am Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'm comfortable with it right there. You know, you might want to move it up a little bit, maybe. Alright. I'm gonna roll with this right here. Now that's done. Now if I want to bring it back to the way it was, you know, you do the opposite of what you just did before. You know, do 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then that should bring it back to where you had it. And then this is it. I'm not going to add really any more to this skin. Um, I do need to get this out of here. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to say how to do it because I'm about to just try different things and hope that it works. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I have to now. If I want to get that out of there, I have to find the. Uh, well, let me try this way. Let's see if I can cut it out this way.
I have to find this image, this layer. You see this? Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm just trying to uh to get this out of here. There we go. Now I found it. Now it's off the screen. Off the screen. So yeah, it, then it's always good to go back and check and make sure that everything is where it is. Usually, I, I, I try to come back out as far as I can and make sure everything is legit. Make sure I didn't forget anything. I got the DOT info. Got the truck number, the logos, got the little globe there. And then that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you're not sure about a part, like I think this is the bumper. I'm not 100%. Um, if you want to test to see what it is, like let's say if I wanted to do this black, you can. And then just simply, uh, like I said, save it. That's a paint.net image. And then save it as a DDS file, and then you'll be able to go back and make any changes if needed. But I'm not going to do that. So now, this is where I'm at right now. Uh, everything looks okay. So now I want to go back to layer two. And you need to turn this opacity back up. You have to do that, because otherwise, if you don't, you're going to start seeing your template on your truck. Oh, and then click OK, and then this is your skin. This is my skin. This is, like I said, my truck number, logo, DLT, the little globe. Same over here, truck number, and logo up on top of the cabin. Oh, now you want to go to background and delete it because the background is your template. And again, if you leave that template up, it's going to show up on your truck. So I'm going to just delete it. And that's fine. But before you even do that, I'm going to go back. I'm going to bring that back up. You want to save this now. If you want to be able to make changes, like you go into the game and you see that maybe there's something that's cut off, um, you want to save this as a paint.net image. Uh, name it 
whatever you like ABF template or this is not ABF CRST CRST template now it'll be saved as a paint.net image so if you want to make any changes like I'm gonna bring this back up I'm gonna I'm gonna open it back up and then you'll see all your layers are still there so it's best to do it that way because if you don't and you realize something is cut off you won't be able to go back so now that I got this already done like again I'm gonna go to background press X let's go take it out and then that's it and then now I'm going to go to save as and this time you have to save it as a DDS file don't save it as any of these files because it will not work save it as a DDS file click save this box is gonna come up everything you see on this screen make sure it's selected DXT5 cluster fit perceptual don't try changing it because again it won't work um, after everything checks out click OK you want to click flat and basically what flat does it takes all those layers and paste them into one you know so just click flatten and it's saved so now you have it saved as a paint.net file and you have it saved you know as a DDS file so that will allow you to be able to convert it into game now now what I want to do is I want to be able to put this skin into the game so you mean you can exit out of this because you have everything already saved I usually like keeping it up uh, you know for certain things so I'm just gonna drop it down for now I'm going to bring up ETS2 Studios which it's right there but it doesn't work for some reason so I have to go through my my uh, files and do it wherever you have it saved that's how you want to pull it up like my background it's my saw background all right so what's up you see I already got something in here already um I'm right now I'm just gonna add add my skin pretty much so I'm gonna go to skin properties uh, default skin name name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it CRST expedited um, internal name it has to be lowercase because you try to put it in any uppercase letters the game or the app uh, won't recognize it so I just put CRST underscore I'm gonna just put EXP uh, make sure you select airbrush um, don't select any of these other ones airbrush will work just fine unlock at level this is where you want to unlock your skin at always put it like level one um, skin price uh, you can put it to wherever you want I usually put it a hundred bucks and then everything else is uh, good to go do not select alternate UV set in the past you had to do that but now you don't need to so after all that's good you want to move over to your truck skin this is where you go search for that DDS file wherever you saved it to uh, and then in my case I saved it under I saved it under the template yeah so this is it right here so yep brings up brings up your skin as you see here that's good the more the workshop icon now this Thing has to be 256 by 64 uh, that's that little icon you see uh, when you are going to select your mod or whatever it needs to be 256 by 64 if it's anything bigger when you get ready to select your paint the game will crash so uh, what I usually do is I usually go back to paint.net 
I usually make a new file and just put in 256 by 64. Oops. And then that's it. And then now you got a 256 by 64 image. Usually I just use I, I just use this. Um how you want to do it, you want to make the background white. I don't know. You know, do whatever it is you want to do. But this is just fine right here. Um, control C. Go back over here. Control V. It's going to ask you expand canvas, keep canvas. Always keep it that way because if you're going to expand it, it's going to change your size. And you need to keep it. 256 by 64 so now it's just going to be a matter of just resizing it resizing it until it fits on screen uh, I forgot to do something very important so let's let's bring this back out you need to make sure that you gotta make this transparent No, so you don't have to make a trailer. You have to add a layer. I'm sorry. You have to add a layer. Um, but that's why you see the, the background from the other image pop up. Because I didn't have it transparent. So, again, I'm just resizing it. has to fit within this box. That's all it has to do. And once you get it to where you like it, save it as a uh, save it as a paint.net image or a ping it or yeah paint.net image or PNG image that's what I meant to say. Uh, find a DTI trans skin for the Freightliner. That's the thing though, it has to be a transparent logo. Um, and those more local companies are a little bit harder to find. The Wolves beat the Warriors. I'm not surprised, Steph Curry is uh, Steph Curry been out uh, for what, the past couple games now? I'm not surprised that they lost. They need him, they need him. Simply what that comes down to, they need them. Alright, I'm gonna go back here to here and I'm gonna browse for my image right there. I'm gonna pull it up. Bam. Right there. Um, and that's really it. Once all these are green, which they are, I'm gonna go to export mod. This will basically turn my skin into an SES file. So I'm gonna click it. It should take about a couple minutes or a couple seconds. And then once it's done, it'll pull up that. Now it's an SES file. I can save it as whatever I want. I'm gonna save it as CRST skin. And then I'm gonna save it in my mod. I don't wanna save it there. So I'm gonna go to my mod folder. And then bam. Now it's a mod. So if I want to see how it looks in game, I'm going to just launch the game and then see how it looks.
now I'm gonna go in game. I'm gonna have to buy the paint, and we're gonna see see how everything checks out here. And then this is how you will know if you made any kind of mistakes. And going back to what I said earlier, that's why you save it as a paint.net image as well, because if you did make any mistakes, you could go back and make them without having to restart everything. I, okay, I'll Google it when I'm um, done with this here. And then if you go in here, that's the skin right there. Um, it won't have a picture, but trust me, I tell you that it's there. So I'm going to just select it, move it over. All skins should be at the very, very bottom. There's really no point in having the skin at the top. We'll continue. Go ahead and see if I can get this skin. DTI Transit. Where is DTI based out of? Let's see here. What a word did it place me at? Alright. I guess I can do a little bit of driving here. We're going to drive over to this place in Amarillo. We're going to see if this skin is legit. This is the other skin that I did for ABF Freight. Okay, that's um, that's that the West Coast, not the West Coast, but Midwest. Like, that's not North Dakota, is it? So I'm thinking based off of that template, that that little part I was confused about is the bumper. I'm thinking, so I might make it black. I don't know yet. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and roll out of here, get to this, uh, get to this thing here. Over into this uh, repair shop. Normally I just teleport over there, but I'm like, why not? I'm already here. Am I on Facebook? Yeah. I'm on Facebook. That 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 place at is it is it in North Dakota?
is where we're going to see if it works. All right, CRST is there. I don't have a price. I said it to $100, but I don't know why it's not pricing it at $100. But there you go. That's the skin. Um, I'm going to see how it looks outside. Alright, so here is the CRST skin. You see there. I could have probably made the letter smaller, which I probably will uh, make it a little bit smaller. Like the CRST is fine, but maybe make the Cedar Rapids, Iowa a little bit smaller. Um, see there, DOT number, maybe make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, so there's a couple of things that I do make things a little bit smaller. Or, or or what have you but that is it let me see if I can do one more thing here So yeah, that's pretty much the finished product. Now, because I want to make a few changes, I will be able to. I just have to go back to that image that I saved and then make the appropriate changes uh, that needs to be made. But I do need to resize a couple things. You have to resize a couple things and then I should be good to go. But this will be available in the uh, Steam Workshop. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and then I'll be able to answer it for you. But that's the skin right there. I'm going to make a few changes because the lettering is a little big. And the numbers to me is a little big. But all in all, I like it. I like it. Thank you, man. I appreciate the birthday wish. No, there ain't no All right, so now I'm going to see if I can make these changes. But that's pretty much how you do it. Anybody have any questions? Like I said, just, 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 just let me know. Um, it's like I said, it's not that hard to do. Um, but now I can close out. All right, let's Thank you, Drill Sergeant. Yeah, I ain't been doing nothing for it today. I just, I've been sleeping for for a while today. So, I, um, I'm just now starting to get up and get in the swing of things here today.
Oh, it's not that hard to do. You just really, you just really have to just pay attention and watch a few tutorials, and that's how I learned. I just watched a few tutorials, and then I just went from there. Yeah, my birthday is today. I didn't make it known to everybody. It's just a few people just know it. You know, a few people just know it or people just heard me say it in the past. Well, I wanted to have some drinks for my birthday, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's happening. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I still gotta do the same over here though. I wanna make that a little bit smaller. How y'all doing today? How's y'all doing today? Right now, I'm just going back and I'm trying to make some changes. That's really all I'm doing right now. I've seen some things I wanted to change, and I'm trying to make them. I think the next skin I'm going to work on. Probably a CR England one. I'm thinking. I want to try to do that before uh, Memorial Day. I think. Well, I don't want you.
Oh, I moved my whole thing over. I didn't see that. I wonder if I could move it back. I didn't see that. Because now if I don't, my whole uh, part of my truck isn't going to be covered. I need to... Uh, I think I can fix that. I think I can fix it. I think I can fix it. Yes, I just want to move it. Size it. Bam! Problem solved. Just like that. Bay bay. Bay bay. Alright. Now let's see how it looks. I have to go through the whole process again. I'm saving it. Blah blah blah. Going through ETS2 Studios. So let's see. Turn that back up. Okay. Get the background. Save as a paint.net image first. Don't want to overwrite it. Yep. Go back. Or no. No, 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 no. Go back. Now save. Overwrite it. Yep. Check out the background. Save it as a PDS file. Yep. Yep. Out. Hey man, I appreciate it. Do I remember the first Kenworth T600s? No, I don't. I wasn't in the trucks back then. I tell you that I just started getting into them as I got my CDL. All right, let's do this again. Let's do this again. That should be okay. Uh, this should be okay. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, this should be okay. I want to get the new skin back in here. save on the one that I already have so CRST skin I'm gonna put CRST skin one all right now let's go back in the game and see how it looks What's up, Derek? How you doing? Oh, 
Oh, so that also oh, that company is not existed anymore then. All right. Let's see here if I can get this old skin back. I took my old skin out. I don't know why it's still in here, but let's see if I can buy it. Oh, that's good. I see you were streaming earlier. Um, do you stream ATS anymore? I see you haven't streamed that in a minute. Yeah, see, this is the old paint. I don't want that paint. I mean, that's the old skin. I don't want that skin. I don't want it. I might as well repair my truck down here. Might as well. Might as well. Might as well. Let's go to this paint. Let's go to this paint. I think this might be it. I think this might be it. And guess what? The thing is free. Can we beat that? It's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller. I like that a little bit better. Still, I still feel like it's the same skin. I still do feel like it's the same exact one. I do feel like that. Let me see. Oh, well, that's what anybody does anymore. You know, when a new state comes out, that's when you see, like, the the influx of players come on from Trekkers MP. And people want to start coming on for ATS. And that's how it usually goes. Going in the service, I always do that. A great shot, that's what I want. That's what I want. This paint. So, this is my ABF skin and my Swift skin that I did. So, I need to still make another change or so. Another change or two. Oh, okay, Martin. Oh, yeah. I, I thought I, I, I need to find a template for that. I'm going to start skinning. Um, I'm going to skin that sometime, too. But, yeah, I'm liking this Freightliner myself, man. You can't beat it, that's for sure. You cannot beat it. feel like that the numbers are too big. I honestly don't feel like the numbers even change. <laughs> uh, so let me... Oh, man, man, man. You know what? Let me... Let me see something here. Yeah, I'm talking about the Volvo. Did I have to find out how to add it to ETS2 Studios and all that? I haven't. That part, I, I forgot how to do that. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm trying to think. Well, the numbers are smaller. I don't want to make them any more smaller. Alright, let me see something here. Let's see something here. Let's put that in yeah, I don't know what makes it free. I put it at 100 bucks.
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish and I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away To see you again, see you again Been finding ways to get away Alright y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. Step away. Alright, well, let's see if it updated.
Um, I, 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 I don't put no mods in the Steam Workshop. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, so. Figure out to get that skin off. This right here. So this is the the, the skin um, that I got made for the uh, for the FLD. This is CRST. I mean, now I want to try to see maybe if I can find a trailer. Where's mine? I want to see if I can find a CRST trailer. I got one through Cecil's and I got a standalone one. This one, but I think I need the other one. Activated, so. Let's see if we can find one within the um, within the jobs list. Jobs list, job market. All right, let's see here. The long process of going through this, and it may not even be there. Life. So right now, I'm just trying to find a trailer uh, with the CRST logo on. Finding everything but CRST. Let me see here. Let's go here. Let me see if, if it's. Let me see. Go to. Let's 
see if I can find it here. I may not try it. there either. Okay, we're gonna back out then. You usually click on the area and look. Yeah, but then you just... It seemed like that you'll be forever doing it that way, though. Oh, that's pretty cool. An amusement park. Huh. This is in print. Didn't know that. That's, that's pretty cool. People just standing in line. Unfinished part of ATS. <laughs> Yeah, you think one will be will be in here, but it's not. It's all right. After a while, I'm just gonna install another mod that I have and bring it up that way. You would think sooner or later that it has to come up. Nope. That car is going through. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Right. I know you're not going to be in here. there either. Man, man, man. coming up.
Man, I cannot find a CRST trailer. Wait, there's really not one trying to come up. I see everything but CRST trucks that I've never seen before are popping up. You think eventually that it would come up? Nope. I don't think it's gonna come up at all. Which I'm mean, probably gonna have to go the other way about it and uploading another mod to bring it in game. Which is not an issue, but I figured I could avoid it by downloading Cecil's mod. Watch well, is gonna be like the very last page or something. I don't think it's gonna come up. the other way this way ain't working all right so i'm gonna try to yeah it's not gonna come out uh, so i'm gonna download a different mod man. i mean that's okay i didn't want to do it this way but let's um uh... That is CRST trailer. I wonder. Now let's see if this works. I probably should have just did this in the first place.
Let's see if I can find it in my job market now. Chicken dinner. I want to see the curtain for it though. There we go. There we For this video folks live stream uh, this mod or this skin mod will be uploaded uh, within the next several hours or so um, but if you haven't already hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, until next time folks take care he's gonna tell me what <laughs> <laughs>